And a terrific matchup for you this afternoon. Brooke Yanez and Rachel Garcia will take the circle. It's second ranked UCLA and fourth ranked Oregon. Championship team from 2019 hit a couple of home runs in the championship series against Oklahoma and she lifts that one deep to left and back and it's gone. And after the shutout last night, they strike quickly the leadoff solo shot for Aaliyah Jordan. Well, Beth, today is going to be all about adjustments, and you could see Jordan immediately making an adjustment. Rick Yanez has a tendency to throw a lot of off-speed pitches, a lot of curveballs away, but this pitch was right down the middle, and Jordan stays back on it. All that power. Look at the way she's just going to go get that pitch. That was right down the middle, and she drives it opposite, out of the yard. So that is a huge pick-me-up for UCLA. Big arm, her first year in town in Eugene. And that hit Bree Perez, so base runner here for the Bruins. She and Bubba Nichols were allowed to come back to school. And Garcia gets a hold of one. A no doubter gone. Way out of here. And the second home run of the inning for UCLA. Three zip. On the decision to come back with Yanez after throwing the complete game last night, 105 pitches last night. UCLA is not fooled here this afternoon. This is a rise ball that just does not get up enough. And look at Garcia. She is all in this. She gets underneath of it and just elevates it out of the yard. This is a no doubter. Well beyond that two run shot now puts UCLA up by a three spot. Win. Now to center. One down. Coach, in a way, Perez coming into this series about how would the offense be affected? What would they look like after Ed? Retires three straight, but not before uh, UCLA had their own little private home run derby. Cruz chops that one, and it will scoot through the left side. And the base hit for Cruz. Another well hit ball. Base hit to left. Well, and right now you can see Oregon making adjustments as well, knowing that pitch is going to be low and inside. First home run last night. To third base. The only play for Wiz is over to first. One down, the runners advance. Some changes, by the way, around the infield. Uh, Perez is the mainstay at short. We told you Vines would be at second today. Squares around to get both eyes on the ball. Comes in. Did it hit the arm or the bat? Alyssa says it hits the arm. Rachel Garcia, I think, is questioning that. I think it went off the arm guard. Trying to prove it with a bruise there. <laughs> But it uh, looks like she's going to lose that battle. Runners at second and third. And Brito back at the plate. One and two. Sid off the glove of Garcia, able to knock it down. Scooped up by Vines for the third out. Nine. High fly ball, shallow right, and it is dropped. Allie Bunker couldn't snag it. Garcia kept on running to second. It's communications tough. Washington draws the walk. The boxer hits something hard. And the called strike three. One, two. Straight away center, and the catcher's made. Maya Felder, 3-1 pitch, and Maya draws the walk. Chases the rise, strikeout number two for Garcia, one away. <laughs> <laughs>
That one was a little elevated, and another little looper out to left. Third hit through the first couple of innings for the Ducks, and once again, just like the first inning, they've got a couple on board. Got it. Cruz and pops that one up to Delaney Wiz. A couple more. Oh. Reached way out of the zone. Got a little antsy on that one. Yeah, you don't see that very often. Definitely, though, right now with a wrist injury this week. Well, but there's another one that was playing some outfield, playing some infield, and I, I think that's the... Got her to fish for it, and another strikeout. Number five for Yanez, two down. Called strike three. Melissa Garcia sends out the signal. Did she check the swing? That's well struck out to right and a base hit. And they've got Sid off the bag at first, and she's tagged out. That's into the gap out in right center. It'll be a long single. For and another strikeout for Brooke Yanez. That's her set for you, Smitty. Wants you to clarify that one. Here's the 2 1 pitch. Jordan waits on it to second bunker. Stays down on it, side retired. Still 3 nothing. You It's been traffic on base every inning. You got her reaching. Two down. <laughs> Perez makes the catch on the run out in. One, two. And got Perez. One down. Place backs. 1-1, one, one, sky to center. Three up and three down for Diaz and relief. Down three to the bottom of the fifth for the... And there's a blooper. Cruz is on base. Get the Ducks on the board. Slow roller to third, over to first, not in time. McGowan legs it out. Runners on the corners with one away. Struck her out. Three pitches, Garcia for you. And the strikeout of Brady. 0-2 from Diaz. Hines lifts that one down the line. That's going to drop in fair. And Vines with the one-out single. Got her. Third strikeout for Diaz, two down. One, two from Diaz. Three strikeouts in the inning. Four in the last 10 seasons, but in their two postseason matchups, the Bruins took both of those in the NCAA tournament. Not today, the Ducks have been getting on board. Could be two, there's one to second over to first. Deep in the 5-6 hole, they try for the lead runner and everybody's safe. Herrera to second. Two out. Called strike three. Draws the walk here with one out. Bruins. Tried the change on 3-2 and missed its mark. Two on with two out. Wiz gets a hold of one. That'll stay in the yard. Gailey's got it. Side retired. A couple left on to the bottom of the seventh. Last chance. 
Another slow roller on the infield. Perez over to first, not in time. Infield hit for Bucker to keep things going. Garcia gets her. It's a final for the Bruins. They win it, Michelle, three zip.